Ever wondered why the Lebesgue integral holds such a significant role in modern mathematics? It's a question that may have crossed the minds of many. To answer it, let's dive into the fascinating world of the Lebesgue integral and its game-changing impact on the mathematical landscape. Integral calculus as we know it today owes much of its form and function to the Lebesgue integral. Named after Henry Lebesgue, this mathematical concept revolutionized integral calculus, breathing new life into the field and opening the door for more complex and nuanced studies. Before the Lebesgue integral, mathematical analysis was largely limited to continuous functions. It was primarily based on the Riemann method of integration. But the Riemann integral, while groundbreaking in its own right, had its limitations. It dealt with the concept of the area below a curve, but struggled with discontinuous functions. Enter the Lebesgue integral. The Lebesgue integral took the concept of the Riemann integral and expanded upon it. It generalized the notion of the Riemann integral, extending the concept of the area below a curve to include many discontinuous functions. This was a monumental leap in the field, allowing for a wider range of functions to be integrated. But the impact of the Lebesgue integral didn't stop there. It also greatly expanded the scope of Fourier analysis. Fourier analysis, a method used to analyze functions and signals became much more versatile and comprehensive with the introduction of the Lebesgue integral. This allowed for a deeper understanding of waveforms and their components, with implications reaching into fields like physics, engineering, and even music theory. In essence, the Lebesgue integral served as a catalyst for change. It gave mathematicians a more powerful tool for analysis, enabling them to tackle more complex problems and explore new territories in the mathematical landscape. This integral, a brainchild of Henry Lebesgue, reshaped the mathematical analysis we know today, and its importance cannot be overstated as it continues to be a cornerstone in the realm of modern mathematics. Born in Beauvais, Ouise, Picardy, France, Henri Lebesgue was destined to leave a lasting impact in the world of mathematics. The son of a printer, Lebesgue's mathematical journey began at the College de Beauvais. It was here that he first discovered his passion for numbers and their intricate relationships. His thirst for knowledge was insatiable, leading him to Paris, where he continued his studies at the esteemed Lycée Saint-Louis and later at the Lycée Louis-le-Grand. These institutions, renowned for their rigorous academic standards, nurtured Lebesgue's growing mathematical prowess honing his analytical skills and deepening his understanding of the mathematical world. In the year of 1894, Lebesgue earned his place at the prestigious École Normale Supérieure in Paris. It marked a significant milestone in his educational journey, a testament to his intellectual capabilities and unwavering dedication to his studies. Three years later, in 1897, Lebesgue was awarded his teaching diploma in mathematics, a commendable achievement that signified the beginning of his professional journey. Yet even after obtaining his diploma, Lebesgue's intellectual curiosity remained unquenched. He spent two additional years studying in the École Normale Supérieure's library, immersing himself in the works of other mathematicians. It was during this time that he came across Baer's papers on discontinuous functions, an encounter that ignited a spark in Lebesgue's mind and set the course for his future research endeavors. In many ways, Lebesgue's early years were a testament to his unwavering determination and intellectual brilliance. From his humble beginnings in Beauvais to his years of rigorous study in Paris, Lebesgue's journey was marked by an insatiable thirst for knowledge and a relentless pursuit of mathematical understanding. These formative years laid a solid foundation for his future contributions to the world of mathematics. Lebesgue's early years laid a solid foundation for his future contributions. Lebesgue's professional journey began with a professorship at the Lycée Central at Nancy. It was during this time that Lebesgue's interest in discontinuous functions deepened thanks to his avid consumption of Baer's papers. This was a time of intellectual ferment, a period of dawning realizations and brewing rivalries. In the quiet confines of the library, Lebesgue began to see the potential for pushing boundaries in the area of discontinuous functions. It was here that he started formulating the theory of measure in 1901. This is a pivotal concept in the realm of mathematical analysis, a concept that would play a crucial role in the development of his later work on the Lebesgue integral. In April of the same year, Lebesgue published a groundbreaking paper, 
sur une généralisation de l'intégrale définie. This work presented the Lebesgue integral, a concept that expanded the notion of the Riemann integral, extending the idea of the area below a curve to incorporate discontinuous functions. This was revolutionary, a significant leap forward in integral calculus. The next year, in 1902, Lebesgue presented his doctoral dissertation, Integral Longueur Air, which further showcased his groundbreaking work on the Lebesgue Integral. The impact of this work was felt far and wide in the mathematical community, expanding the scope of Fourier analysis and establishing Lebesgue as a trailblazer in his field. Lebesgue's academic journey continued with an appointment at the Faculty of Science in Rennes, where he served as maître de conférence in mathematics. This was a step up in his career, marking the beginning of his recognition as an influential academic in the world of mathematics. Lebesgue's work during this period significantly advanced mathematical analysis. His explorations in the area of discontinuous functions, his formulation of the theory of measure, and his work on the Lebesgue integral, all contributed to the progress of mathematical analysis and have left a lasting legacy in the field. Despite facing opposition from classical analysts, Lebesgue continued to make strides in his field. His personal life, however, was fraught with challenges. He married Louise Marguerite Vallée in early December 1903 and they had two children. But by 1916, their marriage had dissolved, ending in divorce. Parallel to his personal life, Lebesgue's professional journey was also marked with contention. He had a notable feud with mathematician Baer. The rivalry began in 1904, when both were invited to give the prestigious Corps Pico at the Collège de France. The disagreement over who was more deserving to teach such a course escalated into a more serious argument later in their lives. Despite these obstacles, Lebesgue never let his work waver. He penned two significant monographs, Les Cons sur l'Integration et la Recherche des Fonctions Primitives, in 1904 and Le sur les Series Trigonometriques, in 1906. These works arose from his lecture courses and helped disseminate his groundbreaking ideas. In the early 1900s, Lebesque was making his mark in academia. He was invited not once but twice to present the Corps Peco at the Collège de France, first in 1903 and again in 1905. This was a significant honor, demonstrating the recognition of his contributions to the field of mathematics. Lebesgue's career also led him to the Faculty of Science in Poitiers. In 1906, he joined the faculty, and the following year, he was appointed Professor of Mechanics. This was a testament to his growing influence in the realm of mathematics and his ability to overcome the challenges he faced. Though his approach was often under scrutiny, Lebesgue's contributions continue to resonate in the mathematical field. His work on the Lebesgue integral revolutionized calculus and expanded the scope of Fourier analysis. Despite the opposition and personal challenges, Lebesgue's legacy in the world of mathematics remains undeniable. Lebesgue's legacy in modern mathematics is undeniable. His most notable contribution, the Lebesgue integral, fundamentally changed the way mathematicians approach the concept of integration. This revolutionary concept extended the Riemann integral, which was limited to continuous functions to include many discontinuous functions. In doing so, he profoundly expanded the field of mathematical analysis, opening the door to a new world of mathematical possibilities. Let's delve a little deeper into this. Before Lebesgue, the integral calculus was heavily reliant on the Riemann method of integration, which was limited to continuous functions. But Lebesgue's work introduced a more generalized notion of integration. His integral could handle a much broader class of functions, including those that were discontinuous or even unbounded. This was a game changer for mathematicians, who could now work with a much wider range of functions in their analyses. Lebesgue's work didn't just revolutionize the field of mathematical analysis, it also greatly expanded the scope of Fourier analysis. Fourier analysis is a method for expressing a function as a sum of periodic components and recovering the function from those components. Lebesgue's integral allowed for the analysis of functions that could not have been studied using the previous methods of integration. Even today, over a century after he first published his work, Lebesgue's ideas continue to shape the field of mathematics. His techniques and theories are taught in universities around the world, 
forming a fundamental part of the curriculum in mathematical analysis and related fields. And his work is not just of academic interest. It has practical applications in diverse fields such as physics, engineering, and computer science. But perhaps the most enduring aspect of Lebesgue's legacy is the way his work inspires us to think differently about mathematics. He showed us that by challenging the status quo and looking at old problems from new angles, we can discover innovative solutions and open up entirely new areas of study. Henry Lebesgue, a mathematician who truly revolutionized the way we perceive and study mathematics.